years. Uh, you, you, the first three months is real serious, then after that you're on a two week maintenance and a every month maintenance for a year. Up against the front board, very gently, and that way they want to crawl back in, they can easily crawl right into the hive on their own. Now you'll notice the feeders on the right side. We have two choices here. Because this is a package that has, if you look here fairly carefully, the bees are sitting right here. So that outside frame right here is pretty much empty of bees. Jim will easily be able to get that frame out. A lot of times we would take the feeder out first, but today we're gonna take this frame out. He's gonna look at, make sure there's no queen on it. You can see the bees are just kind of hiding from work. Okay. You want to set this hive on the opposite, or this frame on the opposite side of where you're kneeling. Otherwise, they'll have a tendency to crawl right up your pant leg. Yep. <laughs> and look at how he splits the hive apart with his hive tool. He's got his hive tool in his hand. Well, there's a really good sign on that hive frame. Look at all the drawn comb they're doing already. That's excellent. This time, it, you know, in seven days for them to have drawn comb. And they've got it on the other side too. They're drawing it out. See that? You can see the white versus the yellow. They're working on drawn comb, which is beautiful. Now you can take this frame and gently set it to the, to the inside. And that way you have enough room to continue on and not have frames all around the outside of your hive. See the gap he's got there to get them out so he doesn't brush the bees against anything? If you look up here, we have uh, them putting away either nectar or uh, syrup, but we fed them seven days ago, and you can look in here, we got yellow pollen showing up. Do we have any eggs there in the middle, Jim? Always when you're checking your frame, do it over your hive. Yep. Don't do it out here because it, the queen may be on the back side of that frame you're looking at and she may fall off and then you've got trouble. Now here, right here, you can see a drone right here. See how fatter he is? His eyes are on top of his head. See all this dark here? This is pollen that they're bringing in but I don't see any eggs yet. So the interesting thing here at this location is, because we've been here for so many years, and if you scanned around our area, you would see maple trees blooming to be heck. And our experience from last year is the bees brought in a lot of extra nectar from the uh, maple trees and the dandelions are starting to bloom really heavy here. Now, when you take your frame and you set it back into the hive, go back to the, touch the frame that you're, it's going to be next to and then slide it down gently. That way, instead of pushing it over this way, you're not gonna kill as many bees. Now watch how he pries them apart with his hive tool. See a lot more nectar up here. You can see how it is right there. See how they're dropping pollen down in here. I don't see the queen on that one. Don't be disappointed if you don't see the queen, but what we're always looking for is eggs first, and then that gives us a good indication she might be nearby. But finding eggs also tells us that she's doing her job, even if we don't see her. Don't go through the hive eight times this time of year looking for the queen when you can find eggs and know she's working. Now, this is a good indicator that you're getting closer to her Look at how they've drawn the comb down to the, close to the bottom of the frame. Much, Look, much better. Real close, you can see eggs.
Looks like a real tiny, tiny kernel of rice. Now, if that egg is standing straight up, she's within three, she's laid that within three days. After three days, that egg will lay down. So normally the egg goes from straight up to 45 degrees and laying down. No sign of the queen yet. Now, we got brood on that one, so did we have brood on the backside? No. No? So we got a, maybe a half a frame there. Oh, she's gonna be hard to find it. Boy, those blue ones stood out last year compared to these white ones. Now this frame is not quite as drawn out for brood as the previous one he had. Look at how this honey is all bulged out here. They're going to town. Now don't be surprised if the frame next to your feeder is just like this one, barely drawn out at all. The, the plastic and everything kind of retards them a little bit from drawing that frame out unless the queen gets real close to it. I don't see her either. This is the fun of beekeeping, find the queen. So are you going to go back through it a couple times until you find her? Well, we would normally tell you as a student not to do that. And uh, the reason is, as you found eggs, so you know she's okay and you don't want to disturb the hive any more than necessary. But we'll go back as we close it up and look at that frame that has the uh, eggs on it. She might be there and we just missed her. Now, since this has been drawn out, you can take this, turn it around, and then they'll draw out the opposite side that was up against the plastic that has not been drawn out yet. Now we're gonna work our way back. More than likely she's right in here where we saw those eggs and we just missed her. But the first inspection I didn't feed them anymore. They were just, there she is. Sure, that's gonna there, she is. Oh, yeah, there she is. She looks pretty nice. Well, she really actually uh, stands out well with that white dot now. Yeah. Now, look at how much longer she is. They weren't any yeah. of them big like that no, in the back. No, There's eggs everywhere in here. Very nice. Very nice. Now, got to be careful when you flip it over. A little bit Did in there. Did you find queen on the first one? Lots of no. eggs. Didn't see her though. We got practically two frames of eggs there. Now that was definitely going to be a carny Jim's all. Up three, one. Ooh, there looked like a cell on this side, Jerry. No. So when we put this hive together in uh, before package bee day, this was a solid frame of honey. That's what we put in every one of these. You can see. They ate out this whole center. And right there, they put a queen cup. And Larry was right. He spotted it. And they've laid eggs. This side right here is against the wood, which is pretty not super common, but we've had really nice warm weather, so they're not hesitant to lay against the wood. But they ate the center of this out too. Look at that. They just opened it up. And they're up here working on the rest of it. And there's another queen cup. Don't be upset by queen cups, but I do recommend cutting them out, making sure they're empty and nothing crazy is going on. We have seen the queen in this. She's a nice black carnolan. And uh, so it's kind of interesting. And there she is. See her? She's solid black, very little brown on her. Nice white dot still. They haven't chipped away at it. You can see she is looking in the cells again. Look at the circle of bees around her as soon as she stops. 
They will, they just circle around her and that's a movable uh, grooming center and uh, feeding center. Beautiful. Yes. Look at her move. Oh yeah, she's way up. You just love watching them walk. I love watching them butt everybody out of the way. Right, move along. <laughs> nice. It's like everybody moving for a chief.